Good day. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Douglas Harder, and in this topic, we're going to look at using interpolating polynomials. So in this topic, we will introduce the next three subtopics. Specifically, we were looking at the assumptions that we will make in the next three subtopics, where we are assuming that we are periodically reading a sensor and that there is essentially a negligible error in those readings. We will then look at what type of information we can try to extract from having such readings. Now, you will recall that we've previously pointed out that sensors are generally sampled periodically. So in the next three topics, we will attempt to evaluate an interpolating polynomial at a point close to x sub k, estimate the derivative at the point x sub k, and estimate an integral from some point prior to x sub k up until the current point. In each of these cases, we will be assuming that there is essentially negligible error in the readings that we are taking. That is, the values are reasonably exact, and so therefore we will be able to use, for example, Taylor series to find such approximations and determine any errors. Now, in each case, again, we are assuming that the x values or t values be it space or time, are equally spaced, so that in general, x sub k is some initial value of x plus k times h. Consequently, it therefore follows that the previous value is x sub k minus h, and the next value is x sub k plus h. Now, once we've looked at these approaches, we will then proceed to look at techniques that allow us to actually make such estimations when there are significant errors in the readings. And for this, we are going to use linear regression. Now, these errors may be caused by numerous things, environmental factors, or perhaps limitations on the sensors that are making the readings. So, for example, GPS is only accurate to about four meters, and when you are building your device and designing, it's designing it, you will be asking yourself, what is the least expensive sensor that I can use while still achieving the limitations and the criteria and the constraints imposed on the design by the client. So following this topic, you now understand that in the next three subtopics, we will be using interpolating polynomials to evaluate the function at a point, estimate a derivative, and estimate the value of an integral. And you understand that the error in the samples, sampled values that we are using is assumed to be negligible in these cases. Also in the next topic that follows, we will then look when we can no longer assume that the errors are indeed negligible. Here are the references, acknowledgements, the colophon, and a disclaimer. Cheers.